The recent award was the um, Skills for Care Accolades. Um, basically, it's um, supposed to be the Oscars for social care. Um, skills for Care are the people who work with every people in care. Um, they do our training and they give the councils the fundings for trainings and things like that. Um, so the council, um, Thorac Council this year, actually nominated us for the accolades. Apparently it was their first year that they've actually nominated someone for an accolade. And through that, it was the training department at Thorac Council, um, Bill and Gillian and um, Wendy Allen. Um, and through that, we got selected as finalists. Um, and then the um, judges from the actual Skills for Care came out. They were here for about four hours. And they came and spoke to all the service users, the carers, the staff. Um, and then they take that back to the panel. And apparently they've got to go back and sell um, everything about us and why they feel that we ought to win. Um, but until the night, we don't find out that we actually win. So um, we were the first category and we were over the moon actually when um, we were told that we were winners. And we got the best employer, um, we got the category for best employer for under 250 staff. So we were really thrilled. And you seem to have a great tradition of, of winning awards when it comes to staff training and development. Definitely. So what is it about your staff training that gets you these accolades? Um, well, basically I'm quite passionate about the staff, the development of staff. Um, so therefore, um, I actually feel that if my staff have got the right tools, the equipment to deliver the best care and then that's the way that our service users will get the best care that can be delivered to them, you know. We work person-centred way, we use person-centred approaches, um, so any trainings that come up that I feel that is adequate for our home, for our service users, yeah, I'll, I'll grab it. And, and I'll make sure that my staff have got the knowledge and the skills to um, have to do their work, actually. Some people say there are basically two types of homes. Those that are there for the benefit of the staff and those that are there for the benefit of the, of the people who live here, the clients, you know. Which one are you? Definitely for the clients, definitely. Um, we're very person-centred. Everything we do, it's about the service users here. Um, actually, they tell us they want something and we will work hard to try to get it for them. Um, you know, helping them to get their goals, that's our top priority, really. Um, and um, from everything, right from assessments down to writing their care plans, right down to reviewing their risk assessments, care plans, we involve the service users, they are always involved and um, you know they're very vocal as service users here so you can ask any of them really. So no, we're definitely person centred. And here we are at the you know December 2010, do you have plans beyond for 2011 and beyond? We have actually, um, we are actually looking into expanding, um, like I said we've got the um, two houses here which is one project for residential care for adults with learning disabilities i'd like to expand on maybe um offering and respite services and probably um looking at working um with people with autistic needs because i think there's a need for that in the borough as well and bringing people back into the borough as well with asperger's autism um so there's a couple of properties that we've um, heard that the health authority were going to be selling so we have actually um, looked at them and we've actually made an offer now we're just waiting to hear from the health authority um